Star Citizen Starfarer Refueling Tutorial. Let us watch. Hello citizens. In today's video, I would like to show you how to refuel other ships using the Starfarer, how to be refueled in flight from a Starfarer, and my thoughts on refueling so far. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here is a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. If you would like to be on this list, follow the link in the description. So let's start with the preparations and crew requirements. All right. Technically, you could be able to do this on your own, but I would recommend having at least one other person on board so that one of you can stay in the pilot seat while the other mans the turret or controls the refueling. But depending on where you're going, it might be a good idea to have enough crew to man all the turrets and maybe have some fighters nearby to help out if needed. Preparations for refueling are very simple. All you need to do is buy fuel into the fuel pods. You can do this through the ship services menu in your Mobby Glass by selecting the manual option. Here you select what fuel and how much would you like to buy. Make sure to note how much you paid per SCU of fuel. It will be important later. Another note, the filling process is going to take a few minutes, so be patient. You can check on the progress using the fuel management console. Before we get into the refueling, let's take a tour of the fuel management console. First of all, you need to set the selling price for your fuel. There's so many upgrades happening right now in 3.17. This UI right, right now is so slick and only in tier zero baby phase. Once the Starfarer is out and about uh, and has more of the functionality and game mechanics with it, you'll be able to take uh, the, the harvesting method of the Starfarer and just directly fill up in space rather than having to fill up at a docked uh, port. Uh, so this is this is great. This is a great great info here. How you the do it right now? The auto price option seems to use the price from the last station you visited, so you might want to enter your own price based on how expensive the fuel was to buy, and then lock the price so you don't accidentally change it. It also seems that the price doesn't persist between game sessions, but this might be fixed in a later patch. Moving on they to will. the pod management screen. Here you can see what fuel and how much of it you have. You can also transfer fuel between tanks using the buttons. Love it. You can manage the refueling process both from the main screen and the pod management screen. But I feel like the pod management screen might be the better option. You can also control fuel pod transfers from the Good external morning, catwalk, but unfortunately there is no refueling console in the back. Alright, so let's get to the refueling. First, you have to extend the refueling arm from the fuel management console. The player needing refuel now has to target your slick. ship and request docking. This is as far slick. as I can tell, you need to be in the pilot seat to accept the docking request. Once the ship is docked and the player requests fuel, you can fill the fuel order from the fuel management console. You can see the status of the transaction down here. Oh, that's you will slick. see the amount of requested fuel at the bottom here. Now you have to select the fuel pod to be used, open the fuel nozzle and then control the flow rate oh of the my fuel. God, this you is need so to keep slick. the flow rate within the safety limit, otherwise the nozzle will get damaged. As you can see here, I am currently refueling but also pumping fuel from one tank to another and this is keeping my flow rate pretty low. You could use this as a safeguard early on while you are learning the refueling process. Notice how the flow rate goes up immediately as soon as I stop the transfer between tanks. Make sure to refuel both hydrogen and quantum fuel. There might only be a small quantity requested, but it will keep the transaction from completing. Once all the requested fuel was provided, the transaction will complete and the ship will automatically undock. Awesome. Make sure to close the fuel nozzle because it will keep leaking fuel. If something happens, you can also abort the refueling process. This will undock the ship, retract the refueling arm and then transfer a portion of the refueling cost to you and return the rest to the other player. And that's it from the Starfarer. Now let's take a look from the perspective wow. of the ship being refueled. Yes. First you have to target the starfarer and then press N to request docking. Once your request is approved by the pilot, the docking HUD will appear. Now you can either dock manually or hold N for automatic docking. Awesome. Manual docking can be faster but automatic docking seems to work reliably every time. Once docking is complete. Wow. That's so slick. They're using the docking mechanisms like the fucking P-52. Uh, the Archimedes and the snub fighter and the Connie and they're using that same game mechanic that they created and they're using it for the refueling the docking arm that makes absolutely 110 percent uh, uh, fucking correctness about this I, I like it I like it I like everything about this this is awesome completed you can open your mobby glass and request the fuel the same way you would request it from a station 
You can either select to fill your tank completely or manually select how much fuel you want. Once you submit your order, the full price will be deducted from your account. At this point, all you have to do is wait until your order is filled. At any point, you can abort the process by holding N to launch. You will only pay the amount of fuel you received and the rest will be refunded. Once your order is complete, your ship will automatically undock that's so and you can be on your way. So useful. And that's it. This is such a great mechanic. Like this is going to be a game changer, man. Like this is so fucking fantastic. Can't tell you how many times I wish I could just like fuel out in the middle of nowhere, pop a beacon out and just fuel up or find uh, easily find a, a fucking starfare and just fuel up and be done with it rather than have to go to a station. This is great. And this is going to be like a big, big credit maker for um, people who own Starfares or ships in the future that have this option that can refuel. This is great. This is great. This makes the Starfare uh, a very exciting ship again. For the refueling process. Now, let me share some thoughts I have on refueling so far. As I mentioned before, you absolutely can do this on your own, but it would be pretty difficult and possibly dangerous because you would have no way of protecting yourself. And you know, the, the, the thing is, is like as a consumer, you have to be careful and watch out for the for the uh, scamas is right astral. But like, here's the thing. If you're out in space in the middle of nowhere, say you're in a system that's like doesn't have a station or or it's too far away and you absolutely need that fuel, then you're going to be paying higher premium. You're going to be paying a higher premium for it. And the reason I love this mechanic is because it puts the power in the trader's hands. They can set the price. They set the price. And, you know, you're going to have the people that are going to hit astronomically high right but that's just the game you know that's just the game i don't want anybody to start police in this type of shit you know because really i like having the people who are doing this have the power in their hands like i i want them to be able to set prices at whatever the fuck they can set the prices at because natural competition will take out those higher prices somebody's gonna always come in with a lower price somebody always does i saw it on eve all the time self or seeing incoming threats while you manage the refueling. Also, you would have to constantly switch seats between the management console and the pilot seat. Which brings me to my second thought. I am not exactly sure how this gameplay loop will integrate into the current state of the game. It right. is fairly unlikely that right. someone will need fuel because right. the distances we need to travel are pretty short right now. Right. Also, I don't think we will see many you're not going to see a lot of it, although I travel around a lot and I would I would find it highly useful. Also, player cap is is kind of a, a, a detriment, right? Like your player cap, what it's at right now because of server meshing not being uh, flushed out. So there's a lot of things going against this, but it's a mechanic set in for the game for the future. You know, when you have when you start having multiple systems, you know, this mechanic is very important. And I think that we're seeing this mechanic being put in the way that it is right now because they're using it for Squadron 42, which I know a very popular YouTuber out there said that there wouldn't be any work happening because because the focus is on Squadron 42. But here's an example where we can see that that is not true, that his statement was not true, that in fact the work on Squadron 42 being done does translate into the PU. And here you're seeing it right now many starfarers offering refueling services outside of org events or other types of organized gameplay, at least at the start. I guess I just don't see a lot of players assembling the needed crew and protection just to sell fuel to randoms right now. But I think once more systems are available and players have to travel longer distances, we will see fuel rat type groups emerging and providing services to anyone who needs them. Absolutely. But for now, I think some NPC refueling missions could provide gameplay options for players seeking to play the support role. Or having the ability to sell fuel to stations and landing zones, which could allow you to essentially become a fuel runner. In terms of profit, you can actually make quite a bit of money, depending on the prices you charge for fuel. And especially if you're giving fuel to someone far away from a station who needs it, you can charge quite a lot. Another thing I also expect to see is a medium-sized refueling ship using the same docking system the Starfarer does. It could be a new concept. And, and I also see this, I mean, like, we, we saw ship-to-ship -ship docking already being done with snub fighters and into the Connie. You know, we've already seen ship to ship docking use this mechanic. So, uh it's going to be used for ship to ship docking. It's like the 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 same game mechanic is going to be used for ship to ship docking uh and uh good cuz that means that progress is happening.